surrounded by water. I love just about anything having to do with the ocean, swimming, diving, fishing, or just exploring. I was born in Miami, and today I split my time between this cosmopolitan modern city of 4 million people and a 1,000 acre island with just 43 solar powered homes in the lower Florida Keys, called No Name Key. If you've not heard of No Name Key, then perhaps you've heard of the Little Key Beer, or the No Name Pub. I'm a 16 year old high school junior, and one day soon hope to attend college and study marine biology. I am also a published author and illustrator of three children's books on ecology topics here in South Florida, and about two years ago began researching a book for teens and young adults about sea level rise. I've met with many wonderful people as part of my research. Scientists, business owners, educators, policymakers, and many others doing amazing work in dealing with global warming right here in South Florida. Last year, as part of a leadership class in school called the Agents of Change, I created a sustainable social initiative. Using my book research on sea level rise, I created a series of educational tools, including PowerPoint presentations, an educational comic book, toys, buttons, shirts, and more that I use to teach children and adults about sea level rise, as well as a website at MiamiSeaRise.com. Now that you know a little bit about me, I want to talk about a topic that is often easy for most people to overlook as we go about our busy lives. It's also something that children rarely hear about, Yet, in just a few years, we will become responsible for it, subjected to it, and will be required to solve what the generations before us have caused. I want to talk to you about the very serious topic of sea level rise, as well as what I am doing to educate people about the facts and how we can solve the coming crisis. I know the word crisis is a strong one, but I also know that our community, country, and planet face a catastrophic risk, so significant that no part of our society or environment will escape. It's an issue that will define my generation, how we solve it, and how fast. For these reasons, I've created the Sink or Swim Project as an educational device to explain what is happening and how we can solve this problem. Let me show you a little bit of what I have been doing and what my talk would focus on. Here are some examples of the slides that I use in my talks with children. Here is a slide showing the carbon dioxide increase over the years. This one shows population growth in our planet. This one shows sea level rise increase and predictions over the years. For my young adult presentations, I darken them, but I also put that I also put in more details. Kids get it. Here are some teachers and fifth graders that I spoke to recently. I don't dumb down the facts or the science. I draw from the IPCC, Union of Concerned Scientists, NASA, and others. Children understand and want to learn more. So I've created a comic book, adventure book, that asks where did all of the polar bears go? And uses the bears as a metaphor for what might happen if we don't act. Here's a classroom of third graders that I spoke to recently. The youngest group that I've talked to. Yet they had over half an hour of truly excellent questions and comments. It's these children, all of the children and young adults that we must reach and educate. In my presentations, I also talk about ideas and solutions such as how we can help with deforestation. I also talk about solar power. As you heard, my family owns a solar powered home. Increased use of solar power is part of my message. I mean, Florida is the sunshine state. Solar power should be everywhere. And I do talk about that topic. Speaking of solutions, I've created a website that houses sea level science, articles, information, infographics, my blog, and much more. To learn more about myself and the Sink or Swim Project, please visit MiamiSeaRise.com. Well, that's a small sample of what the Sink or Swim Project is doing and what I would talk about if I was honored to be selected. Thank you again for your consideration. I look forward to hearing from you and I hope to be able to share my message about sea level rise with you. See you soon!